Brown killifish are small, colourful and peaceful community fish that thrive in nano or planted aquariums. However, these fish are pretty timid, so keeping them in larger groups would be better as they will display much more exciting behaviours. Clown killifish look much better in a heavily planted setup or a natural style arrangement containing a sandy substrate plus some driftwood branches and roots. The addition of dried leaves such as Indian almond or beech would further emphasise the natural feel and offer additional cover for the fish. Clown killifish get on fine with other peaceful species, however they are not suitable for the community aquarium due to their small size and somewhat specialised demands. These killifish do better under reasonably dim lighting, however you can add aquatic plants that can survive under these conditions, such as Taxophyllum, Anubius or Microsorum. These fish will also appreciate some floating vegetation. Clown killifish have several subtle colour and pattern variations depending on where they come from, especially in the unpaired fins. They have a torpedo shaped elongated body with an upside down mouth and a round head. The natural colour of these fish is usually cream coloured with four thick vertical black bands along the flanks that start just behind the head and a bright spot on top of the head between their bright blue eyes. The dorsal fin begins just before the end of the anal fin and ends rather far back on the body. They have a spade-shaped caudal fin with elongated centre rays. The rays can be as long as the rest of the caudal rays. The anal fin may or may not have a red margin situated away from the centre of the body, while in some individuals the dorsal and anal fins can be orange or yellow. Breeding clown killifish can be relatively easy if you keep a species-only aquarium for them. However, if the adults are being kept in a community tank, it is best to organise a separate aquarium for breeding purposes. Using a separate aquarium can be very simple provided it contains a suitable medium for the fish to deposit their eggs. For example, you can use mosses, roots or floating plants as well as spawning mops. They are all equally adequate. Most breeders use a pair or a single male plus two or more females with some favouring to remove and replace the medium every few days, incubating and hatching the eggs elsewhere. In contrast, others leave everything where it is until you can see the free swimming fry near the surface of the water. The incubation period is usually around 9 to 12 days and providing the plants used are mature, the fry is generally able to survive on the naturally present microorganisms. The fry will initially need microscopic foods such as infusoria, rotifers or paramecium. Then around a week later they will be big enough to accept baby brine shrimp and microworms. Presumably the adults don't predate their offspring, but older fry will eat the young fry so it would be advisable to move them elsewhere as soon as they are big enough. It is relatively straightforward to differentiate males from females. The male's anal fins can be red, blue, red outlined in blue or blue outlined in red. Furthermore, the ventral fins can be either bright red, bright orange, pale red or clear. In contrast, the females are slightly smaller, have less developed fin extensions and are less coloured. Most females have transparent caudal and dorsal fins and have faint red or yellow coloured extended rays throughout their length and their ventral and anal fins are sometimes transparent. You can find the clown killifish in Liberia and Sierra Leone, in southern Guinea, in West Africa. They inhabit very shallow, warm, soft, acidic, slow-moving waters in swamps, streams, small rivers, savannas and tropical rainforests. Most of their habitats are freshwater, although you will find that they can also occur in slightly brackish conditions at some locations. Clown killifish will accept dried foods of a suitable size in the home aquarium, such as high quality flakes and granules. Still, they should also be offered daily meals of small live and frozen foods such as Daphnia artemia, bloodworms, tubifex, grindleworm and moina. Bloopers. Why is it the one that I want to film won't stay still but the one I don't want to film He's just going to sit there, perfectly still, mocking me. Ugh. Typical. Why can't you be the other one? However, they are not suitable for the equipment. It is relatively straightforward to... Diff oh, here we go. It is relatively straightforward to differentiate... <laughs> It is relatively straightforward to differentiate males from females. The male's anal fins can be red, blue, red outlined in blue, blue outlined in red. 